Hello, my name is David Jablons. I'm a professor uh, and chief of thoracic surgery at UCSF and run the thoracic oncology program and direct the thoracic oncology laboratory. Today I want to talk a little bit about the magnitude of the crisis of lung cancer that we're facing in this country and worldwide. We have been looking at ways to improve our ability to determine prognosis for patients who have early stage lung cancer. So today I'm pleased to tell you and what you'll read in the Lancet uh, on Friday is some very exciting data that we're able to participate in. This data is a culmination of over three to four years worth of work uh, in clinical trials and studies that have looked in particular at the ability to better identify and determine prognosis for early stage lung cancer patients. The test measures 14 genes, 11 cancer related genes, 3 housekeeping genes, and the variable uh, relationship of these genes and their expression can determine the quote unquote biology of a patient's tumor. In early stage patients, we could identify patients who because of a, a low risk profile by their gene expression um, would have a 75% survival or better, essentially cured or those patients who have more like a 45% five-year survival, a 30% point separation. That is truthfully remarkable. And what of course is the most exciting part of this breakthrough for all of the patients suffering today or in the future or who've had surgery in the past few years is that by applying a rigorously validated and robust test they will be able to identify their prognosis. Armed with this information now, the great hope is that clinicians and the oncologists uh, in our environment and around the world will then be better informed to make the best decision they can for guiding additional therapy. So we're excited that this technology that is available today can be now more broadly used after this publication of this validation study and will allow clinicians to identify patients who are at risk for recurrence for lung cancer and death. But the great hope is then that high-risk patients could benefit from additional standard guideline application of additional post-operative therapies such as chemotherapy. We have good reason to believe that even in the high-risk patients, the benefit of chemotherapy would be as good or better than we have already proven that it can save lives in early-stage patients.